Hey everybody, my name is Kelly and I'm Crochet Ma for Life. And this is my first video. Uh, I, I'm from Alabama, but I have lived in Georgia for the last um, almost 18 years. Um, I have been married almost 18, well, 17 years. We've been together almost 18. And um, we have one son together. His name is Dalton and he'll be 16. Can't believe that. In August and um, we have um, I have two bonus children uh, Dylan he's 25 with 25 in uh, August and Carrie she's 23 uh, and I have two grandbabies Brinley and Braxton two bees they are uh, four and three and they a mess but um, I have a wonderful husband uh, he lets me buy the yarn I always wanted all the time he even says buy some more yarn and I hold back but um here lately I've been indulging a little bit um but he's a good man and um he treats me really well and you can't you can't ask for more than that but um but I've been watching all these uh, lovely ladies on YouTube and I've been in binge watching these um um uh, crochet hauls and chats about yarn and uh some of my favorite ones are the Canadian Crotcheter, Miss Debbie, and um, Miss Setta's Place, Miss Setta. Um, I like to watch Rose Lights Crochet, and then I've started watching some different ones now. Um, I can't say all their names because I've just started watching them, but uh, I'm starting to enjoy a lot of other different channels too. So every time I get that little bell, on my phone that says somebody's uploaded one. I just want to watch it right then, no matter where I'm at. But I hold back till I can do it safely alone in my chair with my yarn around me. I don't know if y'all are like that or not. But but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try one. And I've made several the last few days, but it takes so long to upload them. So I give up. But I'm going to try to upload this one and see how it takes. But I wanted to... Um, show y'all some of my um things i've been making i usually all i've been crocheting 30 years i'm 48 and uh, i've always been one of them one at a time project girls but uh lately since watching everybody do um all these um works in progress they've got several going and uh so i've been um and then starting to do several things at once. And I kind of like that. So I've got several things going right now. Several irons and fire. but um, And I'm enjoying it. But I've got a couple of things. Or one thing that's finished. And one thing I'm waiting on yarn to come in. So I can finish it. And I want to show you. Um, some um, other things I'm doing. And today I went back to Walmart. My Walmart finally had clearance the other day. So hubby to get some so I got some more today I went back and got a little more and um so I'll show you some of that and I got some Hobby Lobby but Hobby Lobby is 50 miles one direction and 70 miles in the other direction so I hardly ever get to Hobby Lobby but y'all been a bad influence and so I drove to Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago and they got me a sack full of yarn but I ain't gonna show that today but uh anyway so let me just show you um one thing that I started working on and this is a um, and y'all gonna have to forgive me I'm just learning and I can't remember things maybe I should have made me some notes I'll make a note of that next time I do a video but I found this video on um, YouTube and it's a uh, granny shawl and it's simple simple but this is Red Heart Colorscapes, and I got this at Hobby Lobby for like a dollar and a half, I think. It, it might have been less, but it was it's a little bit more than a dollar. But I just started this, and I think it's going to be pretty. It's But it's one skein, so it might not be a great big shawl. It might be one of them, you know, you wear around your neck. And I've got bags and bags of stuff I've made that's just sitting back there. And, um... I guess I need to start wearing them, you know. I, I bet, you know, you get a little self-conscious of some things you wear. You got a standard style, and to break out of that comfort zone is hard to do sometimes. But I live in Georgia. Maybe I need to get me some Georgia boots and um, 
think about wearing wearing some stuff and maybe I might sell it of course I don't know if y'all are like me but um, when I sell things and I have sold quite a few things I don't get as much enjoyment because it seems like you're under a deadline to get it done you know and so um, I don't enjoy that as much as I do just making something in my own you know slow poke time because I'm a slow crocheter sometimes but now this will take this won't take me no time and I love the smaller projects I've got addicted to them but this is going to be a granny shawl and I like this yarn I think it's Bangkok Express or something like that but um that's one thing I'm working on and y'all have got me hooked on um what's some things called stitch markers I never use stitch marker you know that you buy but I've been buying me a few little things off Amazon and cases and such, and they've had stitch markers in them. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I started using them really good today, and I thought, man, I can't jerk my yarn out like that. What's been wrong with me not having these all these years? But uh, like I said, I've been crocheting about near 30 years. I'm 48. And I'm talking too fast. But anyways, but that's what I've been using, and I'm addicted to them things now. So, but that's one thing I'm working on, and I should have it done in a day or two if I keep at it. But you know, you get interrupted by cooking suppers and lunches and dinners and all that stuff and washing clothes, and you have to put your stuff down. Babysitting, I do some babysitting for my, my daughter. But here's another thing I'm working on, and it's a baby blanket. It's going to be kind of big. Um, this baby, is, you know, he'll be a year old this year, and... Um, about October I think and so I thought I'd make it kind of big and then him and his mama can snuggle up together but it's that Bernat baby blanket yarn and um, it's got quite a bit it's eight balls so far in this and I've got three more coming of course it don't take long to use up one one um skein 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 ball scan now I'm not gonna say scan skiing but anyways but that's what um i've heard of, i've heard people say all different kinds of things i've always said skiing so I, I don't know if that's the right way you say it or not but that's what i say and everybody says it different and i'm not knocking nobody but anyways that's one thing i've got work on and i've got another blanket i'm working on for a little great nephew and it's in my Auburn colors. I'm an Alabama girl. I'm Crimson Tide all the way. But some of my family members, they like them Auburn Tigers. And that's what she requested was them old Auburn colors. But roll tide. Roll tide. But anyways, I love some. So you know you do for your family. So I'm I'm making me a, making them a little little baby blanket with some Auburn, old Auburn colors. But I, when I'm working on that, I don't, I, I don't call it the Auburn, no, no, no. It's orange and blue and white. So anyway, there's one thing. And then my hubby, he wanted a blanket of many colors. And he wanted me, it's a chevron, a zigzag. I call it zigzag. It's my very, the very first blanket I ever made was a zigzag blanket. So I just drug out an old book and started working on that but it's gonna be kind of big for him and he wanted me to uh, start a color and just keep working until I run out of that scheme but me well, I you know I want everything uniform so I had to be straight line then I'd stop and add another color at the very end so it's been a lot of tails and the hardest part to me is trying to pick out which color to do next I have the hardest time because you know I've always been you put the colors together you don't you don't do this but uh, I'm um, I broke out of that comfort zone and I started doing it and of course the funny thing is was in, when you're doing it you, you start seeing these colors put together and you thought oh them colors would make a good blanket like um, this part right here I like that and I thought I, I really wanted to continue with this color these colors you know but I didn't. I, I went back and I, this right here, I really like this right here. But um, 
I'm not. I'm going to add something else. I probably need to add something funky to it, like a, 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 I don't know, some kind of different color now. Probably go to a darker color. And uh, But that's what I'm working on, and I'm under pressure because he wants it done. Every time I go to working on another project, he says, how much more you got on my blanket? But anyways, that's one thing. And I've got a finished object, and that is a baby blanket. And it's for a, uh, my daughter. She's got a really good best friend, and uh, her, she's supposed to have her first baby. And so I'm making her baby. I made her a baby blanket. And I got her this bag. Y'all, I'm addicted to these little totes you buy for a couple of dollars. I got this one at Books A Million. I thought that was cute. But, uh, so I made this, and I, this is a fan stitch. And, um, I got this pattern off a of YouTube tutorial, Miss Bonnie Day Crochet. I like to watch her. And uh, she's got a real soothing voice. You like those voices, like Canadian Crotcher. I have watched every video she's got, and I've watched it several times. And Miss Seta, I love to watch Miss Seta. I watch hers over and over again, and I just love her laugh. And uh, I like it when she says, uh, what happened What happened was, I like when she says that. But that's one finished object, and maybe when I come back, if I can get this video uploaded, I'll show you what I finished. Maybe, if I can get this video uploaded. Um, I live out in the country, and my internet, I got it, pretty good streaming quality, but from everybody that I have spoken to, says it takes a while to upload a video. But the bad thing is, is while you're uploading it, you want to watch some Netflix or something. And then it makes that slow down, and it buffers, and um, I cut that direct TV off. You know, we don't have direct TV no more because it's high as a kite now. So we went directly to Hulu Live and Filio TV. And if your internet goes out, then you just got to talk to one another or break out a DVD now, you know. So, anyways, and when, when I'm trying to upload this video, and if it starts doing this thing where it wants to make everything buffer, I just don't know. That's my washer going. I got grease on my favorite t-shirt a while ago. I was cooking uh, chicken nuggets, deep frying them for my son. And uh, I went to put it up a while ago, and I guess I sloshed some grease on my shirt or something, leaned into it with my belly. And so I had to... See if I can't get that grease out, because that was one of my favorite shirts, and I hate when it does, when that happens. That's what I get for deep frying stuff. I rarely deep fry, and that's what I get. I just knew I was going to do something like that. But y'all, I want to show you my little yarn haul I got from Walmart, and I got this Woolies, uh, thick and quick. I got one, two, three. I like to make cats, and I like to make cows, and I've been watching Miss um, Laurel at the Dabbling Hook, and she's got a couple of patterns off Ravelry that she's designed, and I'm going to try those, two-button uh, cow and um, big-button cow. You ought to go to Ravelry and look her up, um, Dabbling Hook, and uh, I, it's a paid, paid pattern, but I mean, she, it don't cost that much, and... Um, a good pattern. So I'm going to try to make some um, cows, big button cows out of this. And I think it called for three. But these were three fifty, And they're normally like six dollars. So I thought that was a good deal. And like I said, I love the Woolies. I love that line brand, Thick and Quick. I've made several hats and scarves. And I got some more of this color. It's like a, like a purplish color. What's the name of it? Um put my readers on. I like to watch them Dollar Tree hauls too. I've been watching Couponing Girl today. Um, this color is called Raisin. I like that. Um, let's see. This is a camo and I got several of these. What's it called? Urban Camo. I got about three of them. Because, you know, when you catch them things on sale, Ollie's had them for $1.99. I like to go to Ollie's. 
I don't know if y'all have Ollie's where y'all are at, but I like Ollie's. I got some Karen. Karen. Um, it's a gray heather with the specks. I've already had some of that, so I'm thinking about making some um, poncho or something. Something like that. Um, shawl and the ball. I love shawl and the ball. I've made several things just out of this color alone. It's um, Namaste Neutral. And it was $3.50. I got some of this party. Karen Party. It was $2. It's chocolate chocolate sparkle. I like that sparkle. I got two of those. And I got two of this Caron Simply Soft Party. I can't read with these readers. Royal Sparkle. But that's my yarn haul from Walmart. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. If you did, just give me a like and and um, comment and um, and give me some clues. Maybe I could do something different, but um, I enjoy doing it. I've been doing Facebook Lives because I, I sell paparazzi sometimes when I get hankering to, but I'm a consultant with that. And, um, and I got hooked on doing them lives a little bit, and then I slacked off. My mother-in-law died back in uh, November, and it kind of threw us all dealing with all of that and dealing with her house because you know, it's just a y'all know it's a lot to to do, do on all that stuff, and uh, kind of took the the wind out of my sails for a little bit, just having to um, deal with all of that and all of her things. But um, anyways, I enjoyed doing this, and I, I hope y'all enjoyed watching me, and uh, I hope to see you soon. And y'all um, y'all have a good weekend, and um, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.